This is a high resolution contact print of a daikon. So let's do this. In this movie, we will be learning how to save a DICOM file into a contact print high resolution JPEG format. So let's go ahead and open the Horus DICOM viewer. Upon opening the Horus DICOM viewer, we are presented with this database window where we see all of our MRIs and CT scan. So let's go ahead and choose demo. Click this T2 with 20 images. Let's go ahead and resize this. Right click hold and slide up. And then we go to file print or just simply hit the command P button so we are presented here with this pop-up window uh, showing the layout so the best resolution for JPEGs in contact prints is 4 by 5 or 20 per page let's make sure that the custom string patient info and study info is checked on the header and we go ahead and name this file as demo and then for the selection, we want to include all the images. We enable this button, entire series including colon. And then we select the button as displayed screen capture. Since we have 20 images in the DICOM file, so we leave this interval into 1. And starting point is 1. And the end point is 20. So we have a 1 page contact print. The page setup should be US letter. As you can see, the screen is initializing the contact print. And we have here the contact print preview. We are not going to print this, but we are going to save this as a JPEG file. So we go ahead on the left lower end of the pop-up window. We see this PDF drop-down menu. We go ahead and open it in preview. Then it says processing. Then this is the high resolution JPEG. At this point, we want to change the file name into demo or any file name that you know so as to make this JPEG anonymous. Save this to desktop. We choose file and save. Or just simply hit the command S button for saving. You can now readily send this file into Viber. You can post it in Facebook and you can send it into email. In the next movie, we'll be freeing up your Mac by transferring all your files into an external hard drive and making it as your portable database folder.